how how do you um, how have you kind of advocated for yourself to make sure you're getting what you need? Um, how do you how do you, how, have you, how have you just gone about with working with these agencies to kind of be your own advocate? In the beginning, I called everywhere and multiple times asking tons of questions about how their process was. I had everybody send me their packets so I could kind of compare things and I had everybody's fees written down and, and just everything broken down so I kind of knew, okay, this is kind of the overall what it should look like. Um, and, and this one has a red flag here in my mind just so I could kind of know, okay, that maybe is one I want to steer clear of because these other three don't do that. Right. Um, or this one does do something and I, I would like that feature, you know, mm -hmm. I could ask about that. So that seemed to give me a, a basis of where I could start from and seeing what I needed and what would be a best fit for our family. And so you weren't necessarily looking just at the cost. No. And, it, and I think that's important for us to focus in on a little bit and just say that cost is not everything. I mean, you really want to see what you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. And I think that um, at the end of the day, quality is what you're looking for in an adoption. Um, if you have to spend a little bit more to get quality, that's really important. And what you're comfortable with. I mean, certain aspects of, of one agency just fell off. Yeah, and so exactly. if, if you look into something and it's not feeling right, then don't go with that. Yeah. Some of them feel more fair too. Like I think there's some really good high quality uh, agencies and their fees are really fair. I know I've found a few that were had sliding scale. I think that's really a fair thing to do for adoptive families, you know? When so, you say sliding scale. So based on your income, they oh, were, okay. their fees were adjusted based on your income. You know, that seems a little bit like a, of a fair way to charge people, I think, or that they, or that they were mindful of adoptive families. Yeah. I appreciate that as, as someone that's looking at Well, I think as, as you advocate for yourself, you know, when working with an agency or an attorney, you know, yeah, fee can, fees come into play, but, 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 um, being able to have a connection with whoever your point of contact is. So it may be directly with the attorney or it may be attorney's paralegal or assistant or your caseworker, you know, the, the people that you're working with that you can establish really good, healthy relationships with, um, that people that will understand you when you're being a little bit, cause I know as an adoptive parent, sometimes I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> you know, because it's so emotional and it's so, you know, that, that some of my phone calls haven't exactly been, you know, let's really, can you help me? It's like, oh, you know, and, and, and so uh, if, if, if they can advocate and they can work with you, even in, when, in some of your more difficult times and they respond to you well. And I think as you're doing the research, you, you can figure that out fairly quickly that they call back quickly that they answer questions honestly, you know, and the question may not even, you know, the answer may not even be like the best answer in the whole right. world, but you know that they're being honest, you know, that you know that they're being open and they're not trying to sell you anything. And there. responsive. Nothing speaks louder than word of mouth. When people yeah. have a bad experience, mm -hmm. they want to tell you about it. Yeah. And I think it's equal to be said for a good experience too. I think that it's so valuable to talk to other adoptive families that have worked with agencies, um, and ask their opinions. Who do you go to? Who do you like? Who had this experience? Or tell me your adoptionist stories with these agencies. That's really going to give you a fair uh, view of, of how they're doing business. And I think it's important to ask for those stories because oh, yeah. um, I don't know that the information is free flowing. You know, I mean, uh, on some level or another, the child is uh, coming into your home and you're asking for uh, those kinds of uh, referrals, but I think at the end of the day, uh, the response of times, I mean, if that person hasn't had a lot of interaction with their agency, maybe that's not really the best, you know, resource. You want to go to someone else and maybe get a little bit uh, more of a story of, Hey, I've had a lot of needs and they took care of them. And how did they take care of them? Those kinds of things. Knowledge is power. I mean, it's totally empowering. The more knowledge you have about all of these different things, it's going to empower you to uh, make the best decisions and the best yeah. choices in your adoption journey. So finding communities where you can talk, finding, comparing agencies, just don't go to the one, the first one you see that has a pretty picture on the front, you know, really, really study these things out and do your homework. It's going to serve you so well. I even asked the agencies for, you know, can you give me some names of your couples? 
oh, that yeah. have adopted and I've yeah. called and talked to them, you know, uh, about my concerns about things that maybe I saw on, on those. And I really do like the fact that you said earlier on in our discussion, and that is, I felt like some I just didn't click with. Just move on. Because as you said, this is somewhat stressful experience, and their response at a time to you, as well as what they're willing to do for you, is important. Yeah. I think that's paying even, them a lot of money. I, I think that's even especially key with attorneys. Yeah. Because you're working directly with one person oftentimes, and you do need to kind of click with them personality wise. And I agree yeah. with that. And I think it's super important. And I just I can't say enough about this. And that is that the attorney is um, really. Should, he should be the guy that answers most of your questions. You should not be stuck with a paralegal or secretary constantly. Mm -hmm. I mean, surely you can add, I mean, any good uh, adoption attorney will have a staff, but my feeling on the matter has always been that more often than not, you should be dealing with the attorney. Mm -hmm. If the attorney's too busy for you, you should, I mean, it's not a very good fit. Mm -hmm. These are stressful times. Yeah.